Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm going to teach you a song that I have had so many requests for over the years. I finally, finally had a listen to it and I think worked it out for you. I'm using a D diatonic harmonica, but any key of diatonic harmonica will work with the tabs. The only thing is you won't be playing in the original key. So the song is in the key of A, and I believe that uh, Ozzy or whoever played it used a D harp to play it. I've seen videos saying it's on a different key, but it sounds like it to me. So uh, I'm going to give you the intro, all of the stuff in the intro. There is some stuff later in the song that's very similar, a couple of little changes, but that's beyond the scope of the video today. Let's crack on with the first bit. So we've got... So it starts on that full bend on hole two and releases upwards like that, okay? I'm doing this from memory, by the way. I wasn't that familiar with the song and I was going to play the song in the video, but then I thought YouTube uh, copyright stuff these days, you probably wouldn't like it if I played the song so you could hear it. So go and have a listen. Um, so yeah, starting on that two draw bend, releasing it up, and then down again, okay? And then up to finish. But I put in the tab, I hope this doesn't confuse you, all the arrows. The arrows mean that you're kind of blending up and down, that kind of glissando up and down those notes. And then at the end there, it's a two draw, but it's a little bit rough. So it's almost like the one and the three draw are creeping in a little bit. You've almost got that kind of chord sound coming in. So I put the one and the three in brackets for that. So it does that twice. So you're going to start on that bend up, down and up and just then broaden your mouth to get those side notes if you want to get that rough, kind of rough around the edges sound. And so just broadening out that mouth a little bit at the end. And it does that whole thing twice. I should say, by the way, I reckon it's double tracked. So, I don't know, let me know in the comments if you know, but it sounds like there's a double track there. So if you're thinking it sounds bigger, fatter than what I'm playing, maybe I've just got bad tone, but I think it's that there was that double tracking going on. And then line B is just kind of uh, from the two draw bend upward. Okay, from the bend up to the two draw natural note. Uh, I put some vibrato on there, I'm not sure there actually is any vibrato. And then finally, this is the bit probably that kind of gets stuck in your head most. We're going to do the same kind of thing as uh, the A line to start with. So we're going to go So it's kind of like a two draw that goes down and back up, but it starts with a little bit of a bl blend, a kind of little bit of a bend into the two draw. So like that. I mean, all the exact positionings of those bends, how far to bend, you know, you can, you can, feel that yourself, but that's what I'm hearing, is almost like a half step bend, but just as an inflective kind of into the note. And then... So for this, we're going to go from our two draw to the three draw, four blow, four draw, four blow, three draw, two draw, two blow. Uh, probably, again, bending a little bit into that first two draw. And on the four draw, maybe hitting the five as well. You know that rough sound, that, that kind of... Uh, combination of two notes called a double stop. But it does that whole thing, line C, five times. So you've got that. Three, four, 
through five times. And I think that's the hook, the bit that gets stuck in your head. Then finally, the end of the intro just holds a two draw. So after that final, because it wouldn't resolve, it wouldn't feel like an ending if you finished on that two blow note. So I hope that helps you get started on The Wizard by Black Sabbath. If you're really serious about learning to play the harmonica, then why not take a free trial of my harmonica school? I have step-by-step -step lessons to take you from beginner to advanced, and I'm currently offering a free 30-day trial. There's a link in the description to find out more. Let me know in the comments how you're getting on. I try to respond to as many of your comments and questions as possible. And until I see you again, enjoy your practice. Cheers.